the electricity deficit in the SADC region may be a thing of the past. That's if this project unit hits the road running and meets the expectations of its constituency. One of the good ideas that have been floating around for quite some time and we are very glad that it is now becoming really a real deal. It has been, uh, uh, the problem was that Saab has been missing a very crucial capacity to actually bring and structure the deals. There were a number of projects that uh, uh, that were missing that critical link and that link is now with this PAU, this link is now there. Hopefully if this works we will have a consistent approach to projects, people doing it over a long period of time, building up knowledge, sharing knowledge and I think in time we hopefully will get better at it and faster and in time we'll do a lot more projects using this, this type of approach. Time though is what the unit doesn't have a lot of. It's got an initial renewable mandate of just two years. There are still uh, a number of things to be done. One is it actually needs to uh, get a full set of the panel of experts, global recognized experts, to help them to advise on a number of priority projects that are coming already in a pipeline. And um, the, the second thing is actually to get, to get the traction between the regional agenda and the national agenda. The competing interests of national priorities will mean huge amounts of communication, negotiations and finally decision making. You know, having all of this and being at the centre of all of this, you know, as a advisor, SAP type uh, of person, you, 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 do, you can expect a serious amount of interface challenges in this whole, whole setup. If this unit does what it's meant to do, it's going to mean the speeding up and delivery of a range of different energy or electricity projects which is great for the continent, great for the region, and great for those individual countries. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Maputo.